Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. This tutorial is about the VLOOKUP function in Excel. I've already made previous videos about the when, why, and how to use VLOOKUP, and this video is a time-saving video. It's time saver number two, tweaking the column index number. Yes, again, here's one more adjustment you can make to save yourself even more time as you're using VLOOKUP. So in the previous video, I showed you how to make a few adjustments to this formula. We filled in each of the four pieces of information, the lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. And I showed you how to type in a dollar sign right before the A, which is pulling the ID number, so that you can copy your formula down and across very easily. So in this example, I had dragged the formula down and then across and it filled in the gender right here. And to make it say program start date, instead of having a two, which is the column of data, you can type in a three, press enter, and just drag this down. And of course we have to change the format to a date. And that's okay, we could just go through to this one, you know, we typed in a four, and ethnicity we typed in a five and that's fine but there's an even faster way to do it um, because sometimes you're copying in I don't know a hundred or two hundred or even three hundred columns of data and typing those in by hand is just a little bit too much work so we need to insert a new row and we need to label this row just type in the numbers where the column uh, with the corresponding columns so one two three four etc Oops, 11 and 12. Let's just change the format of this one back to a three and get rid of those decimal places. Okay, let's go back to our uh, core cell right here with the formula that we wanna drag from. We're gonna go right here to the two, the column index number. And instead of actually typing in a two by hand, we're gonna click on this cell right here that has the number two in it. And then you're gonna type in a dollar sign, oops, right before the one. So that it says B dollar sign one. So now we've put in two dollar signs by hand here. One's before the A, and then this one is before the one. Press enter, and let's see what type of magic we've created. So at first it looks the same we've got the behind the scenes help going on. As we drag it across, look what happens. It automatically fills in that data for you, so it saves you even more time. So there you go, that's time saver number two, tweaking the column index number. Thank you very much.